Los Angeles dinner. It's great to see so many of the museum's friends and supporters here in one room. I love what you're wearing. You all look great. Uh, I am told that your ages span from 12 years to 100. Very impressive. That's a good spread. Um, I regret that I have to start this evening by sharing a piece of unfortunate news. Gerda Weissman Klein is unable to join us tonight because of recent health complication that prohibits her from traveling to Los Angeles. She sends her deep regrets. I'm sorry that she won't be here. I know that everybody joins me in wishing her a speedy and a full recovery. A refuah uh, shlema. We are pleased that HBO, which is one of our dinner sponsors, will be showing the special tribute to Gerda that they prepared for this evening, and that Gerda's granddaughter, Alyssa Ullman, will accept tonight's honor on her behalf. Uh, we're also thrilled that Michael Berenbaum has agreed to deliver the keynote address in her stead. Dr. Berenbaum, of course, was instrumental in the creation of the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum and in that capacity also worked closely with Gerda and HBO on the production of One Survivor Remembers. Now even in her absence, we will pay tribute this evening to Gerda Weissman Klein, a survivor of the Holocaust, a recipient of the U.S. Medal of Freedom. She's an outspoken advocate for Holocaust remembrance and human rights. A longtime friend of the museum, Gerda embodies the values and the ideals that the museum was established to protect. She shared her personal story of survival on film, in print, and through countless appearances all over, all around the world. She's been an inspiration to the museum, as she has to millions of people with her message of hope and love for humanity. Uh, on my own behalf, I'd like to say how pleased I am to have schnored my way in to tonight's event by agreeing to MC. Um, and that's because my, in terms of personal identity, my two prime markers are Jew and daddy. And as a Jewish daddy with kids growing up uh, six plus decades after the end of World War II, it is vital to me and to my wife Melissa, who's also here tonight, uh, that our children understand the importance of the Holocaust, both in terms of our mutual history as Jews and in terms of their responsibility to engage in tikkun olam, in repairing the world, uh, the responsibility to help make the world one that is free of genocide. And uh, that's a responsibility that the museum uh, helps our young people realize.